All right, thanks for joining me again, Cart Rigs and Tips. Yeah, show you a lot of tip today on just to do some popped up meat for fishing over the top of chod. Yeah, well, it's in between popped up and critically balanced. So just for fishing over chod, rushes, leaves on the bottom, debris, stuff like that. So yeah, what I'm gonna do in a minute, is pop it on in a minute, get it fried, show you me frying it up, show you on a rig. And then we'll put it in a bowl of water, film it, and show you it popped up. And hopefully it'll catch you a few more fish through the winter uh, and then yeah see where we go from there and see how easy it is uh, but one caution if you're young children anybody under the age of 16 that's not used to using a frying pan make sure you've got your own fishing frying pan because you're definitely going to get told off off your monkey putting different fish oils and that into the pan plus you might need supervision whilst frying it so yeah just watch the video and see I mean, a lot of you out there, young anglers, will be able to fry it up on your own, but you've got to get the pan hot. So be very careful. Adult supervision if needed. And then I'll be back to you in a minute, showing me frying it up. And then we'll show you it in the bowl, like I said earlier on in the video. And hopefully I'll let me catch some fish. So let's get to frying. So all we're gonna do is literally now, get your selected piece of meat. Just bang it in the pan like that, and that's all it is. When we can get in on the zoomed in on it, and that's it. Just a nice little fry on each side. So you're just treating it like a pop up. All you're going to do is just fry it on each side, and then that's the way you get it to pop up. So. Hopefully, fingers crossed anyway, we will see. All right, so I'll say a couple of minutes on each side. Best thing to do, whatever oil you want to do it in, I'm doing this in a chili oil. Uh, you can do it in like plain olive oil, virgin oil, fish oils, garlic oil. There's quite a few oils you can do it in, so. make sure you don't burn it you know have your heat high enough to fry it but not burning it so what you want to do is make sure if you're a child anybody under the age of 16 and that get your parents to supervise you doing this please because I don't want none of you getting burnt you young keen anglers so yeah and hopefully We'll put you a few fish on the bank this method. Don't have to just do one piece at a time. I do quite a few pieces usually at a time, so yeah. As you can see, popped up meat. You can see, critically balanced. The rig's there underneath. Where we go? There we go. There's your rig underneath and that. It's just popping back up now. There you go. Like I said, perfect. For fishing over a bit of crap and that, nicely critically balanced so it's not dead on the bottom. So, in between a critical balance piece and a pop up piece. So, yeah. That's your pop-up meat. Piece de la resistance, as they say in France. Uh, thanks to Cart Rigs and Tips. There you go. Back to the camera. Yeah, there we go. That's my little tip this week. Uh, simple popped-up meat, as you can see. Uh, you know, it's still popping up. So yeah that's it there we go so just a quick little tip something little to do for you uh, hope you like it if you like it thumbs up click the link down below subscribe and like There's lots of other tips gonna come over the next 12 months and things like that I'll show you how to make wafters and all that and crumb balls uh, 
all different bait things, rigs, etc. So yeah, that's your popped up meat. Do it in any oil, whatever oil you want to do it in. Uh, all you've got to do is try not to burn it, but make sure it's crisp around each side. So every side, I know it's a bit time consuming, but how many places can you get popped up meat? You can't, can you? Not real meat. So yeah, all we do is make sure it's cooked all the way around. Good tip to do, the best one, what I usually do it in is tuna oil. Drain the tuna, put the tuna in my mix, a meat and tuna with pellet mix, and then the oil out the tin, fry your meat in that, and bang on for winter. Good winter tip, well probably is a good summer tip, I've just never used it in summer. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you again in the future videos next week. I think next week I'm gonna put the fish video up, or I'm probably gonna do another review on some reels. So thanks for watching, hope to see you in the future. So tight lines, look after yourselves. See you again.